Here I'll show you how I added a quillable whistle to an early PS3 engine that didn't originally have a quillable whistle. What we do is we actually take the quillable whistle information from one sound file and move it into the sound file of the engine that we want to add. So let's take a look at the, the source of the quillable whistle. We'll use my ADPCM program. I'm going to drop into the file name, the engine that we're going to be using as the source, and that's a 20-3677-1484 Greenbrier steam engine, uh, Chesapeake and Ohio. Press Analyze, and look here at clip number three, and we've learned that clip number three is the clip that is used by the quillable whistle. Uh, if you listen to my earlier video where I describe more about whistles, I played this for you several times. It's a clip made up of several smaller clips, which the engine then plays one after the other in order to get its varying pitch and varying volume sounds. So the engine that we're going to actually add these to now, I will drop its sound file into the ADPCM program. So this is the 30-1660-1, which is a Pittsburgh and Lake Erie 060 steam switch engine. You press Analyze. And you notice clip number three is empty on this engine. There is no quillable whistle in the engine. One of the side effects, of course, of using a quillable whistle from a different engine is that the sound of that quillable whistle is going to be different than the other whistles in your engine. So if this is the problem for you, what you need to do is actually then copy all of the whistles from the donor sound file into this sound file. And a subsequent issue is that if you are really interested in having a correctly sounding engine uh, whistle in your engine, this may change that because now you're going to have the whistle from another engine. So I'll show you how to do this, and of course it's entirely up to you as to whether you want to do something like this or not. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to replace all of the whistles in this sound file with the whistles from the Greenbrier engine. So I'm going to start down in the 40s. So here's 41, 42, 43, and 44. They all need to be replaced, so I'm going to click on 41. I'm going to click Edit Clip. I'm going to make sure that Replace Clip with a clip from another sound file is selected. I'm going to drop our donor sound file name into the file name. So this is the Greenbrier engine. I'm going to double click in this field, which just forces the clip number to match what we want. And I'm going to press Do It. So then I'm going to repeat that now for each of these other sounds, 42, press do it, <coughs> sorry, 43, and press do it, 44, press do it. Since I accidentally played clip number 43 for you a second ago, uh, before I changed it, now I'll play clip number 43 after I changed it. <laughs> Definitely sounds different. Okay, the other set of whistle sounds that need to be replaced are 152 up through 156, which are just the normal whistle sounds. So I'll do the same thing. I'll be replacing that clip with a clip from another engine, clip number 152, then number 153, then number 154, then number 155, then number 156. So I'll play 152 here so that you can hear what, what that whistle sounds like. All right, then we go back up to clip number three, which is empty. So now we want to pull in the quillable whistle clip 
into clip number three. So I select clip number three, click on edit clip, double click the clip number to make sure we have a three in there. And then I'm going to make sure I have checked or selected add a clip from another sound file into an empty index location. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be taking a clip from the Greenbrier sound file and we're going to be putting it into position number three. I have to tell it that this is a quillable whistle because there's additional information that has to be copied from the Greenbrier, Greenbrier sound file into this sound file and I press do it. And that's it. So now that file on the hard disk uh, has had all its whistles changed. It's had the Quillable whistle installed. It has had the Quillable whistle data installed. The last thing to do is make sure that we have the correct soft key. We click on edit soft keys. We click on a proto whistle SPW, which is the quilling whistle. We press do it. So now the sound file is ready. So now you can take your DCS loader, you can load it into your engine. You should go to your remote, delete that engine from your remote, and re add it to that engine so that the proto whistle or quillable whistle soft key shows up. So that's it. Give it a try.